Follow the science. Well, not on the House floor, apparently. At least six House GOP members fined this week for not wearing a mask as Speaker Nancy Pelosi continues to defend her mask mandate. Now, my next guest is one of those members who's been fined, Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks of Iowa. By the way, we did reach out to Speaker Pelosi. She was not available to join us. Uh, so, Congress, by the way, I don't know whether to call you Congresswoman, doctor because you're a medical doctor, or colonel because you were a colonel in the U.S. Army. I guess I'll, I'll call you representative. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. But you are not an anti-vaxxer by any means. In fact, as a doctor and as a former nurse, you actually have been giving out vaccines, right? Not only have I been giving out vaccines, I did it in the uh, 24 counties in my congressional district, and I'm fully vaccinated. I've been an avid uh, supporter of the vaccine, both talking about vaccine hesitancy, and that's how this all started. I gave a speech on the House floor about vaccine hesitancy. That was April 22nd, and that uh, we could get more people vaccinated if we would show what a return to normal would look like. Uh, mm -hmm. And since over 75% of our members were vaccinated, I implored the speaker and the House attending physician to lift the mask mandate and to not find members if they went without their mask. So I continued to do that, wore a mask on the House floor that said vaccinated, continue to encourage people. And, you know, I think, you know, Nancy Pelosi isn't following the science. She wants to right. find the science. Well, that's that's the key. And, and by the way, I, I didn't mention you also have a master's degree in science and education. In short, you know a lot more about disease and science than Nancy Pelosi ever will. So whom should we believe? Well, I think it's interesting that uh, as soon as the CDC guidelines came out that you could go without a mask if you were fully vaccinated, the White House and President Biden said you could go without a mask. He said, get vaccinated, don't wear a mask. Chuck Schumer and the Senate, they don't have a mask mandate in the Senate. They, they don't go with the mask. It's only on the, on the House floor and in committees in the House. And even when we had Dr. Fauci and Dr. Walensky testify to us before the coronavirus task force uh, subcommittee, that we were all wearing masks, even though we were separated by six feet right. uh, and we had social distancing and we were vaccinated. So, you know, it's it's not following the science. It's finding the science. It's a it's a power play. And, you know, it's unscientific. I'm not anti vaccination. I think people should get vaccinated. I continue to encourage that. But I think we're not setting an example right. for anyone. And it continues to create confusion to people. Why should they get vaccinated if nothing is going to change? Boy, there's so much confusion. Of course, the CDC is not helping at all. Uh, three weeks ago, they, they say that kids going to summer camp have to wear masks outside at summer camp. And then two weeks later, they say, no, nah, forget about it. Nobody needs a mask if you've been vaccinated. So, I mean, this mixed messaging is, is, is a terrible problem, right? Absolutely. And I'm glad you mentioned summer camps because I also asked that question at the, our most recent coronavirus task force meeting. And I did a speech on the House floor about the CDC giving guidance to summer camps so that they can reopen and reopen without uh, children wearing masks. Children are very low rates of transmission, also very low rates of illness. Uh, and they should and they're outdoors. And we know that there is almost infinitesimal transmission outdoors. It's one of the few things that the Chinese Communist Party was honest about at the beginning of the pandemic. Well, let's, so summer, yeah. summer camps should be able to open and children should be able to go without masks. Let's talk about the Chinese Communist Party because there is more evidence now and the GOP came out with a report suggesting that we really need to investigate it because the World Health Organization, uh, to, to put it bluntly, seems to be in bed with the Chinese Communist Party and agreeing to their dictates about what can be investigated and what cannot. More evidence that the Wuhan lab was the origin of this this virus and of this pandemic that it was that it was uh, worked up made even more infectious and more dangerous in the lab and then released from the lab uh, what are your impressions of all that well uh, you know physicians have long uh, been concerned about this I know physician colleagues and I have uh, talked about this issue even last year uh, there was uh, articles that were uh, done by Chinese virologists from that had worked at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We know that it was a Chinese ophthalmologist, and I'm an ophthalmologist, who actually uh, was pushing uh, the Chinese Communist Party to let the world know about the pandemic. Uh, and he eventually died of COVID-19 and, and is a real hero. But there is concern about that. It was, you know, really uh, dismissed at first uh, that uh, 
that the virus could have come from this lab, but there is gain of function re research, which we had stopped in the United States, but was funded out of the, um, there was a grant funding around $650,000 yes. through um, uh, Dr. Fauci's division in NIH that went yep. to this uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology. And we know that they were studying this bat virus. The bat, this particular bat was, you know, extremely far away from Wuhan. It was mm. about, I think, 650 miles. So it was a long way from uh, from the Institute, and uh, Dr. Wade has uh, published on this, and I think now it's gaining some traction. Well, we, we, we've got we to the, get to the bottom of it, certainly. Very quickly, the, uh, I, I may disagree with you on this next point, but you voted with Democrats on this commission to investigate what happened January 6th. Uh, do you really think it's going to be a fair and balanced investigation very quickly? I voted with the Capitol Police who were traumatized uh, and who have been blamed for a security breach. And I think with a commission that has equal representation, uh, not being uh, run by Democrats, not having a Democrat majority, okay. which we hear now in committee hearings, uh, when when we talk about right. this, we have not. Congresswoman, the we got to go, but I I hope you do police. get to the bottom of the shooting of of Ashley Babbitt because we still don't know exactly. what happened there. Congresswoman, thank you very much for being here. Well, from uh, mass confusion, we're going to be right back. Stay with us.